welcome to Branscombe Farm. I'm Elizabeth and today I am going to tell you what my 2019 goals are for my rabbit season. What is raising rabbits? Well, we raise New Zealands. We raise them for meat, we raise them for show, and we raise them for pets. So my 2019 goal for showing my rabbits, okay? So let's look kind of at 2018, what I did was my first full year of raising rabbits and showing rabbits. I had a good year and I had a lot of great rabbits on the show table, table that did really well, but none of them were mine. So my first goal this year is I want to have my rabbits that I grew on the show table and I want them to win, okay? Second, I want to try to attend some more shows. So last year I wasn't really sure where to find shows, when to go to the shows. I didn't really know anything about showing rabbits. So I've been to a few, I think in 2018, I went to five shows, which seems like a lot for your first year, but there's technically like two show seasons, a spring and a fall. And so I went to five shows. Now two of those shows were actually like a local county fair. So that did not count towards like I'm saying like a lot. Um, so the local shows didn't really count towards winning legs for the rabbit or championship points for the New Zealand breed or anything like that. But they were still a good learning experience and my daughter enjoyed it because she got a lot of ribbons. Whereas some of the other actual rabbit shows we went to, you only get a reward unless you win big, like best of breed or best in show. So besides that, there's really not much that you get and so for a four-year-old, eh, she's not too impressed to go up there and say, oh, you won best of variety and you get nothing. She's not very impressed with that. So this year I would like to try to up that and go to about seven or eight shows. And I would like to show my rabbits. I still have a few rabbits I bought that I'm going to show and register. But my goal this year is to show my rabbits, my homegrown rabbits. Number three, my third goal is that I want to try to register at least three rabbits this year. Okay, I registered one last year and he actually is granted out, but that was Rums Buns Big Mac. And I really did nothing except for pick him up two weeks before the show. He already had earned one show leg and so I didn't really do anything. I just took a great rabbit and won with the great rabbit. So this year I want to try to register some of mine that I grow and I'm also going to register some that I've bought because they're good quality rabbits. So I hope to register uh, Crow's Nest Registry has Rainbow Dash. She's a uh, She's been having lots of babies for me. You've probably seen her before. I'm not going to show her but I would like to get her registered. I have bought Shining Armor from uh, Grace Hollow Rabbitry. He is a blue buck. Uh, I like to get him registered. I am gonna show him a little bit and see how he does on the table, but mainly I bought him to be a herd sire. And then Cadence. Cadence is a white um, New Zealand I got from BC Rabbitry. And I'm gonna put her on the show table and see how she does, but she's gonna be a, uh, mainly a breeder. So after, if it comes to her being a producer of babies or her being on the table, she's going to be like Rainbow Dash and be producing babies. So I may still go ahead and get her registered. I just may not show her. I would like to register two to four of my own rabbits. So that's a big goal for me. I really want to register two to four. And I would really like to try to grand champion. Maybe it's a big number, but I'm going to say I, liked, I would like to get four. Four. Now, I may not make that goal, but it's still a goal that I've set. Um, so, I've been talking about registering, and I've been talking about granding, and legs, and don't all rabbits have four legs? Hmm. I would have thought, to, thought so before I started this adventure. But a little bit on the background um, with rabbits is that to register a rabbit, it has to be pedigreed. A pedigreed rabbit is just paperwork showing the lineage of three generations. So it shows its parents, its grandparents, and its great-grandparents. And on that pedigree, 
you have to have the rabbit tree it came from, its weight when it was a senior, um, the color or the variety. So when we're talking about variety, that is the color of the rabbit. So for a red New Zealand, the variety would be red. Um, for a blue, it, the variety is blue. Now broken is a little bit tricky because whenever you are showing rabbits, they all show under broken. So you can have broken red, blue, or black. All of those are going to show together as a broken pattern. But on the pedigree, it will say specifically what broken color it is. So it's a little bit confusing on that. Um, now, getting a leg or earning a leg. So for a rabbit to earn a leg, now they all start off with four, the four that God gave them. But earning a leg is just a prize that they earn. So if they win um, best of variety, so best color. So say they win in the reds, they win the best. So they win in the reds and they win best of variety, so best red rabbit. There has to be three exhibitors and five rabbits for that rabbit to be eligible to earn a leg. Um, if there is five uh, rabbits of the same sex and three exhibitors, they can also earn a leg when they're best opposite variety. So with that being said, if you have a red buck that wins best of variety, best red rabbit, and there are five exhibitors, sorry, three exhibitors, five rabbits, then he will earn a leg. Now, if there are more rabbits, say there are five exhibitors and 12 rabbits, and five of those 12 are female, then the best opposite can also earn a leg. Another way for them to earn a leg is to win best of breed. So best of breed means that after all the varieties went and the judges chose best of breed out of each variety. So best red, best black, best blue, best white, and best broken, then those rabbits go against each other for best in breed. And they can win a leg in that. And nine times out of 10, best opposite breed will also earn a leg because then you're getting a more um, variety of rabbits because they take every rabbit that was in the competition to go with that minimum of three exhibitors and five rabbits. So if you don't have enough, then if you don't have the three to five, three exhibitors, five rabbits, then you don't get anything. And then the last way that your rabbit can earn a leg is to win best in show. So how that is, they take every best of breed for every rabbit showed in that contest. And the judges look at them each individually and they see which one is closest to that standard of perfection and they choose the best rabbit at the show that day. And that is a huge, huge honor to win that. Now, the best I've ever gotten, which I can't take credit for it, I have to give it completely to Rums Buns because they did all the work, was when Big Mac won second reserve and show. And that was amazing. And what that meant is that he got third place out of every rabbit at that show that day. And that's a big, big deal to me because, I mean, I was competing against some amazing breeders that go to nationals and have been doing this rabbit business for way longer than I have. And I was so lucky that Rums Buns was willing to sell me such a wonderful rabbit. So I have to thank him for that. Okay, so now back on to my, um, my other goals for this year, I'll get off of that topic, that should have been a whole another video, is number four, this one is a big one, I want to sell more rabbits than I buy. So you're laughing, my husband's not laughing. So last year I bought a lot of rabbits trying to start up and trying to get in the good quality rabbits so that we can have good producers. And this year I've already bought, I mean it's January, I've already bought three rabbits. And so I don't really want to buy any more. Does that say I won't? Mm, 
I don't know, depends on what comes along, but I definitely want to sell more than I buy. That is a big goal for me, because last year I bought probably way more than I sold. We ate a lot of them, but I bought a lot of rabbits and some expensive rabbits. Um, number five, my fifth goal is that for you guys, I want to make a rabbit 101 video, like series of videos, because I get so many questions from you on what to do. So I'm going to take all the knowledge that I've gained over the last two and a half years from reading documents, from watching other YouTubers, and I'm going to compile a series that explains what you need to know before you get rabbits, how to take care of them, what equipment you need, and just everything I wish I knew before I got rabbits because I thought I did a lot of research and I thought I knew everything or at least majority of what I needed to know to raise rabbits and no, I did not know nearly anything and I mean, as funny as it is, even with the breeding, I mean, it took us, I think we got rabbits in September, and we never, we didn't have our first babies until the end of December, and part of that was because we weren't breeding them right. We thought they were breeding, but they weren't. So, it was a learning curve. And so if you don't know what to look for, and you don't know what you're doing, it can cause a little bit of heartbreak because every time that day 31 came around and I had fixed the nest box up and the rabbit had got in there and dug around and then day 32 came and still no babies and day 33 and 34 and just no babies and it was kind of sad. I was like, where are the babies? So... I did a little bit more research and I had a viewer actually tell me that one of the breeding videos I posted they weren't actually breeding so that was helpful but I just want to compile a list of videos of what I wish I knew before I started rabbits and what I've learned what has worked for me what hasn't worked for me and as I go through that journey as people ask me questions, I'll make a video about that. And hopefully I can help you guys. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try to figure it out or I'll ask somebody or I'll send you to another great YouTuber that has a video on your concern. And I hope I can help doing that. So those are my five goals for 2019. So I hope you enjoyed. We'll see how many of those goals I meet. Hopefully I can meet all of them, especially the no buying rabbits because I'm kind of out of space. So I may have to convince my husband to, I know I love you honey, to build me more cages because rabbits to me is my addiction. Anyways, I want to thank my great supporters and I want to thank my amazing husband for all the editing that he does. and. I hope you keep watching. Thank you and God bless. Thanks for watching. Grand Sun's fun. Don't forget to subscribe.